If you're trying to get digital marketing agency clients and you're not asking these six questions in your sales script, I can almost guarantee that you are leaving tens of thousands, if not even hundreds of thousands of dollars in revenue on the table. If you don't know who I am, my name is Matt Wasik. I'm the CEO and founder of Landscape Marketing Pros. A digital marketing agency currently doing about $35,000 in monthly recurring revenue. And I make these videos because I really, just information was available to me when I was trying to get my agency started way back, 2016, 2017, 2018. So in this video, we're gonna be diving into several questions that you need to be asking your prospects in order to close more sales because that's the entire purpose of conversing with a prospect is to get them to buy our service program at one, two, three, four thousand bucks a month. And the reason I make these videos is because I struggled for a very long time, 2015, 2016, 2017, 2018, 2019, even parts of 2020, I failed to get a single client for multiple different reasons, but one of the biggest was not knowing how to sell, not knowing how to actually communicate what it is that I sold. I was really good at SEO and really good at designing websites. However, I could just could not get anyone to sell. And so this video may take me a little bit of time to go through. So if you don't have five to 15 minutes to pay attention through this video to the very end, then you're probably gonna be best suited to go watch TikTok and be unproductive and just melt your brain over there. But if you actually wanna build a business that nets multiple five figures in monthly profit, I encourage you to stick around to the end of this video. So does this sound familiar with how your current sales calls go? You're sitting there, if you're talking about doing SEO and web design, you're showing them search rankings and all the sorts of nonsense. If you're running ads, you're showing them cost per click, cost per lead, or click through rates, or all these sorts of metrics that frankly your prospect doesn't give a shit about. If so, you absolutely must make the shift that we're gonna discuss here in this video because you need to transfer away from talking about what it is that you sell to actually solving the problem that your prospect has. Now with an agency, generally these problems are very, very easy to spot and figure out and very predictable, but we still need to dive into that because that's how we can actually get the prospect's emotions involved into their decision-making. Because I tried to sell for multiple years just on the logic and numbers side of things where we're just talking about rankings, we're talking about cost per click and all these sorts of things. Absolutely should get out a pen and paper right now and start taking notes on the questions that we're gonna be getting into because when you make the shift from talking about logic and numbers and all these sorts of things and actually just solve their problem on an emotional level, you're going to close sales like there's no tomorrow. It's absolutely insane the shift that this made for my business. It took me from struggling at like six grand a month, very quickly scaling up to 12, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35,000. And I'm still going to continue to scale this to as much as I possibly can over the coming year. A lot of these things that we're going to be covering are based on psychology and what we say, and also more importantly, how we say these things so that we can steer our prospect to buy. With this powerful information, you need to use this for good and not evil. So don't go out there and use this and then sell a terrible service to them. You need to make sure that your fulfillment is on point. You have the skills in order to be able to do so or the right contractors in place so that the work is fulfilled properly and your clients get a good ROI. At the end of this video, I'd encourage you to go down below to the first link in the description or the pinned comment down beneath this video and register for my HVA webinar. Changing concepts in that broadcast so I can help you start and grow your agency so that way you can actually have a business that's profitable where you don't have to leave your house. So again, first link in the description, pinned comment. But without further ado, let's begin with question number one. The first question that I'm asking is, what is the biggest issue that you're facing in your business right now? During this question, I'm trying to figure out what is going on in their business. Why did they even book a call to begin with? Because again, as an agency, we want to solve problems. We don't want to just sell SEO, sell web design, sell ads, whatever it is that you're doing. This is essentially right now at this point during the call, this is again the very beginning. It's a discovery phase. We're trying to figure out what is going on in their business and can we actually solve the problem that they have with what we have to offer in our service program. You're gonna hear prospects say something along the lines of, well, we got a website and it kind of just sits out there. It maybe gets two, three, four leads a month. It doesn't really produce a whole lot. That good of quality. So we're really relying on word of mouth to just keep our things afloat. And a lot of contractors don't want to be in that position. And again, I'm speaking from my experience with working with landscape contractors. It's exclusively who my agency works with. This is going to be universal for most home service companies. And some of these will also kind of tie into other ones like lawyers, chiropractors, dentists, and some of those other white collar professions as well. But next one is going to be, the next one that's really common as well is that they're working with Home Advisor, working with Angie's List, Thumbtack, whatever and it's a race to the bottom every damn time. I'm sick of spending all this money on these leads that talk to 10 other contractors all at the same time. And you can kind of tell the tone of voice that I carried through that because again, the more angry the prospect is going to get at that situation right there, 
the better it is for you and the easier it will be to close them and knock them off the fence to buy your service program because they want to escape that pain. Next one here that's really, really powerful because it's involving a lot of emotions is that they just don't get enough consistent leads to hire a good foreman or a good crew leader so that way they can delegate themselves out of the field having to actually do the work, whatever it is, if it's installing the garage door, putting the shingles on the roof or whatever else it is. They wanna be able to get out there and do the estimates and then just go do sales and then maybe like some of the admin stuff. They don't wanna be doing the work. Second question is, so of the leads that are in fact coming in, what percentage or how many of those are you closing each month? And so then they're gonna say their answer. And for most of these business owners, if they're the right client avatar that you're attracting in to have booked calls, they're gonna know those stats right off the top of their head if they're really in tune with their business or they're gonna have that data in front of them or they'll at least know the ballpark. So then we follow that up immediately with, okay, so that's about six projects per month on average, about 10,000 bucks a piece. You're doing about 60 grand a month during the season. Is that accurate? And they're gonna say, yeah. And so the reason we're doing this is because we're basically creating firepower for later on. And we're gonna ask additional questions that go further deep into the root of their problem. So that way we can then again, push them to purchase our service program because that's going to solve their problem, help them get those leads consistently and take them from being at say 60 grand a month to get them to 120, 150, 200, whatever it is they want to do. Now the fourth one is very, very, very important because if we can't get them to do what our goal is with this question, it's going to be hard to get them to actually want to buy. So at this point we have them in a point of pain to some degree, they're aware of their problems. Now we want to help them visualize what the future is going to be like. And so what I ask is, could you take me into the future? What would you like your company to look like in say six months, 12 months and 24 months from now in terms of how many employees, crews, revenue, all that sort of good stuff. And then they are going to start telling me these things like I want to add uh, one three man crew this year and add another 250 grand in revenue, or I want to find that right foreman that I can pay 30 bucks an hour, 40 bucks an hour, whatever it is and then they can manage things and I can then go focus on estimates and sales. The crew's gonna be able to get all the work done because they're all being paid very, very well and we can add another 200 grand in revenue this year. Just two examples off the top of my head. This is extremely powerful because they're going to be visualizing the results or the outcome of our service program over the long haul. And again, that's what we want. We want clients that are on board for the long haul. I'm not talking just six months churn burn. I'm talking being on board for two, three, four years because the LTV is massive. You don't have to go out, go get more clients. That revenue stacks up. It's a way easier to build a business using this than it is to just churn and burn. And so this mind shift is extremely powerful because they're already envisioning what they can do and achieve and just makes closing them that much easier. Now questions five and six are asked one right after the next. And so the first one of this with question five is going to be how long have you been trying to get to that number? And this again is using their goal that they had talked about earlier on as firepower for asking this question. You're gonna get the answer of, man, I've been thinking about having a million dollar a year business since I started four years ago. And four years may not sound like a lot of time, but it is an insane amount of time. That's 1400 days or something crazy like that. That's a ton of time. And so then I'm immediately going to follow up with, okay, so you've been thinking about this for four years. What if nothing changes? and they're gonna be stumped. They're really not gonna know what to say at all. And so I just wait for them to say whatever it is that they are going to say. And then I'm usually gonna then follow up and say, can you agree that it's time for a change? And that change of course is them buying our service program. And that's not when we close them, not yet, because we still wanna go a little bit deeper. And actually what I typically do at this point in time is I'm gonna ask them what they would like to do with the additional profits that come into their business as a result of working with my agency and have this extra work coming in, extra profit and so forth. Most of them, and this was shocking to me because I figured I would get the answer of, man, I just wanna be able to go get drunk on a yacht with a bunch of naked chicks or fly private, have a fleet of exotics or do sorts of do all sorts of extravagant things. And that's never been the answer once. Almost every single time these business owners, at least in the industry that I work in, state that they just wanna be able to reinvest back into their business. So they wanna be able to pay their employees really good wages, buy nice equipment, newer equipment, new trucks. And that way the whole company is just better run because of the fact that everything's new, everything works. Their employees like coming to work because of that fact, because everything works. They're not stuck on job size waiting because the equipment's broken down or things like that. Company's actually more profitable as a result, even with the employees being paid very well. 
And then with the additional profit from all of that working and in play, they will usually say that they'll want to take their family on a nice vacation, maybe renovate their house. That's pretty much it. Some may want to get into real estate, like buy homes for rentals, but that's really it. It actually was surprising that they weren't saying the typical thing that you'd see with success, so to speak. It's very, very powerful because this decision that they are making to purchase your service program is based on outside influences, not just them wanting to go get drunk on a yacht with a bunch of chicks. It's for their family, it's for their employees, it's for their just company as a whole because everything's just going to improve and impact others beyond just them. And one other thing I want to address is that you need to be socially aware when you're conducting your sales calls. What I mean by that is, There'll be times when you have a prospect who's very, very, very warm. In fact, they're probably even hot when it comes to the cold to hot rating in terms of wanting to buy. And how you can kind of pick up on this is there'll be certain nuances and, and vo vocal tones and that sort of stuff in their voice that almost is in an annoyance, but you can tell that they, because you're going through this whole long drawn out process when they're already sold. And you gotta be able to jump on that opportunity when it comes about because it, it is pretty rare that you will have that, but that they're easy sales to make because you don't have to go through the entire sales process. You can walk them through 15 minutes of what you're discussing during the discovery and boom, they're ready to go. So those are six of the top questions you need to be asking in your digital marketing agency sales script, whether you're selling SEO, web design, Google ads, or some combination of all that, or even Facebook ads, any of those other things out there too. So what I highly, highly, highly encourage you to do if you have reached this point in the video, go down below, to the first link in the description or the pinned comment down beneath this video. Register for my webinar, watch that broadcast end to end. There's gonna be some things that I cover in there that are gonna be truly life changing. They altered my life for the absolute better. First link in the description as well as the pinned comment down beneath this video. Be sure to go down below, subscribe, click the bell for notifications so that way you know when all the newest content comes live here on my channel, drop a like. I'd love to know in the future after you put these six questions to use in your sales calls, do your next one, comment on your results. How did your prospects respond to this? Did you close deals? All that sort of good stuff, comment that down below and other questions. So with all that said, my name is Matt Wasek. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.